boys. I'm back. Jeez, it's been a long time. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's been like almost three weeks. Oh, jeez. How are you guys doing? I hope you're well. Oh, is Terry dead? No, he's just, uh, he's like shell-shocked. You know, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know that famous line when they get knocked down, they go, Oh, shell-shocked. That's, uh, Terry's feeling that right now. He's just back. He was back from his boarding. He was, he was, he was being boarded <laughs> for two weeks, so he's like, he's adjusting. He's adjusting. Nice muscles, thanks. How is Canada? It was... It was weird. Uh, frosty, yeah, it was fro we when we landed there was a snowstorm uh and then it, there was freezing rain a couple of days later and then lots of rain and then a day where it was like 20 degrees so we had like a bit of everything weather-wise. While we were there it was pretty good. Yeah. You have not left for a second? Okay, good. New Triforce? I think I not this week, it'll be next week, but we'll record one this week now that I'm back. So it's been it's been like a bit of a a drought. Leading up to episode 100, I think we're like close, you know, I think, I think we're pretty close. No, never leave again. All right, I won't. Anyway, um, we're going to play some uh, Anno 1800, which is out now. I also got a code for, uh, for the new Paradox game, Imperator Rome, which I played a little bit yesterday and is um, good. It's, I, it's, it's a Paradox game. It's, it's the same away, as the other ones. Back. Pretty Hope much. you had a good time. I got VIP on another channel. Ha 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 ha. No, I didn't. I lied. Lolzox. Sorry. Okay, did you good. get any more toupee? No. No. Did you wear all your toupees? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wore Sorry. every single one. I had a whole suitcase filled with toupees that I took with me. It was nice. Thanks, Bob. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Uh, it's a good review. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's all right. It. I guess that. I guess it's like any other Paradox game as well, where you will see once the DLCs start coming out and stuff. But it seems okay. Like, the map is is very big. Like, the you know, like, um, think of, like, CK2 with all the, like, little provinces everywhere. It's like that times, like, 100. There's just, like, lots and lots and lots of little cities and provinces and stuff. And it starts off in, like, the year 350 or 400 or something like that. So it's... Lots of like uh, phalanx and like you know units like that. There's like camel, camel riders and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. It's it it it's pretty it's pretty good. Like uh, I think it'll it like I said it'll just get better. But uh, for now it's uh, it's okay. Can we see a squat? No, hell no. Jeez. Sips. Do you know? Welcome back. Hey, thanks. Thanks for taking a vacation in Canada at the very time it got super busy at work. Hey, no problem. I've managed to save my job by doing something productive for the last three weeks. Nice. Have 30 big ones, you Whoa. giant poutine. Thanks. Less than three. Yes. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Anyway, should we play this game and see what it's like? Anno 1800? I don't know how long we're going to play it for. My my history with Anno games is not like an illustrious one. Usually I play them for a couple hours and then I move on sort of thing. So we'll see. This one looks nice though. The gra I, I think the, the thing with Anno games has always been like, they look really fucking nice, don't they? And you like to just sit there and stare at the buildings doing stuff and, and whatever. So hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. We still have to play some Don't Starve. I think some new stuff came out while I was away. So we have to do like another sponsored stream for that. I think we have a couple more sponsored streams to do. But also, we're in the middle of a really good run. We were just coming up to the end of summer, weren't we? The end of summer going into um, into into fall, our, our, which would be our second fall. It would be our second fall, right? Which is pretty good. No? I've been so fucking hyped for more Don't Starve. Yeah, we'll get back to it for sure. I'm also pretty hyped to go back to it as well, but... This is new. It's like it, it came out recently, so we gotta try it out, right? New game, campaign or sandbox? Probably do the campaign, right? Is the campaign gonna be really like, Sire, the, the the boats and like like just fucking walls and walls of dialogue and shit? Or can I have just you play ever the game? been to Tofino, Sipsy? Uh, have I ever been to Tofino? No. I've never been to Tofino. Tofino's in, uh, it's, um, it's, it's on, uh, Vancouver Island, right? It's, it's like, like the north part of Vancouver Island. I've never been. Apparently, I, I don't even know what you would do there. Surfing? In Tofino? <laughs> I don't know, I, mean, I don't even know if that's a thing. Sandbox for fun. The campaign is lame. Campaign and free play is almost the same. <clears throat> this is pretty good. I only did sandbox in the beta, though. The campaign isn't that bad. Should I just play the campaign then? 
Maybe there'll be some cool stuff. Experience the story of Anno 1800 merges into sandbox gameplay on completion. Okay, well that's pretty good. So what, is the campaign done on like one thing? Well, fuck it, we'll just try it. If it sucks, we'll just move to sandbox, right? Receive guidance and tips on how to play. Recommended for newcomers to Anno or less guidance. Explore the game on your own. See? That's what I'm talking about. Explore the game on your own. That's what I, that's, that's, that's what's been missing all this time. Explore the game on your own. It, it, Cause that's what games are meant to be. They're meant to be fun. They're meant to be things that you do explain. We go, we're gonna explore it on our own. Who needs a stinking tutorial, right? Am I right? Oh wow, look at all these cool people you can be. You have to be part of the club to uh, unlock uh, Captain Highliner here. And uh, old mutton chops and uh, whoever this is as well. Ubisoft club rewards. But then these guys are, I guess, unlocked by End Empire, fake news, back in business, Isabel found. Oh, look at this one. She looks a bit like Sharon Stone for company. Nice. Okay, on the topic of Sharon Stone, do any of these other ones look a bit like Sharon Stone? Because I'd be up for playing a character that looked almost exactly like Sharon Stone. Um, we might have to just play uh, her instead. Oh, or her. Oh, or him. Ooh, or him. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this guy. Look at this guy. Very honorable looking. He looks like a very noble man. This guy, not so much. Not so much. He does not look very noble at all. Looks a bit scrub. This guy looks pretty noble as well. So hang on a second. You could just you choose a portrait, but does the portrait have any like uh, effect on what you're on on what you do? Or how you play or whatever. Should we just play as this guy? No, let's go for this guy. This guy looks awesome. He looks like a young Colonel Sanders, which is always a good thing, right? Go for the handlebar tash. It means nothing. All right, okay. Terry Camera Riot. <laughs> right, okay, gotcha. Choose a logo. Nice. We can have like. What kind of logo do we want? Do we want like a uh, balloon in the ocean being swept away or a train? Wait, are there trains in this? It's 1800. Fuck, there might be some trains in this. That's kind of exciting, actually. I like trains. Um, we could go for these, like, sperms. Or what's this? It's like a train tank. Train the tank? only thing I did in Tofino was like surfing and it was a fucking disaster. Right. Almost died. Oh, shit. True story. Well, Comrade Snowball, thanks so much for all of the, uh, for the bits, and, uh, I'm sorry about your Tofino near disaster, but, uh, you know, it may, you, you know, maybe in the next time you go, you'll be a bit wiser, um, and you'll enjoy the experience more as a result. There's always that, right? Accio Siren, thanks so much for the bits as well, man, I appreciate it. Um, let's go for this one. There's a fist with a wrench in it. Which is like symbolic of, yes, we will fix the trains. We're gonna fix every train. Player name, Naki Teriyaki. <laughs> Naki Teriyaki. Wow, what a name. Okay, let's st we'll stick with that. Naki Teriyaki. Imperial Pack. Choose alternative skins for your vehicles in game. What? These skins cannot be changed once the game has been started. Imperial Train. And an Imperial Command Ship. And what's this? Available as an additional ornament. Anno 1602 Memorial. Whatever. Sure. Normal, advanced, expert. Should we just do it on normal? And then work our way up? 75,000 starting capital, large world and islands, abundant minerals, high fertility, full construction refunds, and free building relocation. Okay, that sounds good. We'll go for normal for now, and we'll see how it goes. All aboard the Teriyaki Express. Naki Teriyaki. Back in the motherfucking house. I'm I'm excited. This is like how long when when what's the time frame of this game? Like is it 1800 to like 1900? Does it cover like is it meant to be like like Victorian anno or something or what? What's the deal? It looks very Victorian, doesn't it? With all the fucking with all the foppish dandies just fopping around and stuff. Oh yeah, look at these graphics. They're nice. How does Naki fit in with the Wacker lore? Is he a Since crazy rich third grade uncle? Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. I yeah, it is. I, I, I knew think that's it. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened. Yet dynamite. Okay, good. Fishing. Having a blast. Fetch stick of dynamite from the derelict lighthouse. <laughs> well, 
The village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite. Oh, you gotta use the arrow keys to move around in this. That's a, that, Here a, that it will is. annoy you. Just get plenty of distance on the Dad, I applied for my dream job. Spent hours drawing and editing 3D motion graphic for the application. They used the graphic but told me I didn't even qualify for an interview. What? Fuck my ass. Jeez. Any who blab your back to get me through my work day. LJ, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Keep trying, though. Like, you'll never know. Like, it, something will happen, right? Use stick of dynamite on three fish swarms and collect three charred fish. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake, really? They're not expecting queen parrotfish. Anything with fins will do. How do we pick up? Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? Oh, there we go. All right, well. <laughs> You're just destroying coral, you clown. Man, still trying to get rid of this smell this of this actually happening. They're not expecting queen parrotfish. Anything with fins. Deliver to you. pack steamer office. Three tons of charred All fish. Oh, I like fish this. They Look could at this. Ever want. Oh fuck yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's we'll go to this place and first deliver bang, the fish. I knew it was you. So, come this is show not at all what you're expecting from this game. Me neither. Me neither. I was not expecting ah, this at all. That burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is, and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are Take your tickets. It. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon. I got some club and tickets. Nobody wants you to miss it. Uh. Okay. I'm 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 up for entertaining some of the storyline, but we're leaving paradise behind. You not much of it though. Much about family, not much of it. Is this the campaign? Yeah, it is. Yeah. About this, aren't you? you don't no didn't really enjoy the campaign. It's too directed. I made a vow Can to I still get all the achievements and stuff from not playing the campaign? An oath. Even if a blind man could How many subs were lost over the break? The pit of um. I don't know, what did we leave on? I think I left with like 3,700 or something, and we're down to like 2,200 and I have never so quite asked a few, anything quite a of few. you first born. That's streaming life Not for you, when though. you stole away a tiptoe, yeah. leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father oh, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Man, it doesn't help at all that, like, from the outset, even before starting to play this game, I'm not interested in the story at all. I'm sure it's probably okay, but, like, fuck me. I'm just, like, can't be... Oh, wow, look at this place, though. That's what I'm talking Is about. Look at that! You, dearest sibling? That's a beaut. I never dared hope you'd return. That's a beaut. Look at these nice buildings. Sands. Imagine building of this in Planet Coaster. Mm. We loved it here. Man, it's guys, I, the bed that I was sleeping in while I was away was Edward. comfortable, but Father it really fucked up my shoulder. Cold. Like, I have, like, it feels like I have a trapped nerve down. or something in my shoulder. Like, I'm constantly wanting to, like, twist it around and stretch it and stuff, and, like, every once in a while it really hurts. God damn. I should sleep on my back more. You say that, but... When I sleep on my back, I snore like crazy. So I try to sleep on my side. Why were we selling fish? Want to stay in the good in books <laughs> with my wife. <laughs> Never told your friend of good and sons. Oh god. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Wow, look at this place. Do we get to build like all this stuff? Or is this just one of those like uh like NPC islands like they you know, you you deal with this place instead Where of building you it yourself. Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Oh Oops. fuck! I'm fucking done. Chapter one. Here we go. You have a tale of two brothers. You have no quests. Nice, nice. Ditchwater, a quaint what? settlement. Still here. Quaint Establishing indeed. Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island. Disheveled. Is what you meant Let to say. Let Uncle Edvard scoff. 
A modest island, yes, but if you're at Skip all it. like father, you'll look beyond appearance. We must shelter Please. the good, loyal people who have... We need every hand we can get. Get out of here. Okay, perfect. A spark rekindled. Build a marketplace, build 10 farmer residences, and attract 50 farmers. All right, boys. We are off. Okay, so the way that this game works is you have to have, like, roads leading up to stuff, right? And it has to be perfectly symmetrical at all times, right? So, like, the idea is you build a road up to, like, here. And then we find out how big the marketplace is. So the marketplace... Shit. It won't, like, fit perfectly, right? Because it's... Because it's like a different number, so we're gonna have to go one over. So if we put the marketplace here like this, right? And then we go like that. And like that. This is like our town center, right? And it's like, and it's perfect. But we can't get that in the middle, so we're gonna have to place some trees or like a 1602 memorial. What's this Ubisoft club? Nothing. There's some timber here. We can make a sawmill, small warehouse, farmer residence. Okay, so again, we're going to get a little screwed over here, but it should be fine. So how many of these do we need? We need 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Do you remain here out of spite? Oh, is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so what? desperate to appear responsible, this guy's you'll be beef? pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Get out of here. All right. Uncharitable I need to make one more residence, but I don't have enough uh, money. I'm out of money. Wait, no, I'm not out of money. I'm not at all out of money. So these things fit in here. Farmer residence. So these ones will have to go up the middle. Like, the, okay, that's fine. All right, so we've done we've done the residences. I'm not actually out of money. I think I got some money from my father's funeral or whatever. What's this stuff that's in the way here? Ruined residence district. You need more people before you can demolish these... Ruins. Okay, fine. So I just need to get some more people, apparently. All right, let's take a quick uh, look at the graphics. Are really nice, aren't they? This stuff like upgrades over time and stuff too, right? This is what's so great about Anno games. Look at all these people are just like getting stuck in benches and look, they're trading some fish and some tomatoes and stuff. We're slowly attracting farmers. That's nice. Farmer residents. So this is blocked here too. I thought I ran out of money, but it's actually blocked. Prince and bright sands. It's just blocked. <gasps> Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Go away. That's I like I like the campaign because I like having like you know, little objectives that I can that I can reach, but I don't really want to like listen to the story that much. So apologies if you wanted to like see the story or whatever. I'm not your guy. I'm not the guy who's going to be watching all of this stuff and listening to these people. It's not me. No. Good to have you back, Sips. I missed you. Ah, uh, hello to you. my friends in chat. I love Thanks. you all, Joey sixty seven clown, Joey sixty seven pretty. Joey 676 thanks so much for the bits man and it's good to see you as well. The sandbox also has missions. All right, okay. Okay. That's worth noting. That's definitely worth noting. All right, we need two more farmers. One more farmer. Where can I put this cool 1602 memorial? What does it say? Generate a small amount of attractiveness for the city. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Father All right. Wouldn't have wanted us to sit. So on. let's gather our townsfolk. The apple Insane. falls not far from the tree. Ruined residence district. We have to clear it. After the tin rush, the place went to dust and decay. After the tin rush. 
I think it's being cleared right now as we speak. There's a little progress bar. Good Morning job. Is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. We got a whole bunch it's of been free a hard timber. Day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. All right, so we need to build a fishery and we need uh, to attract 50 more farmers. Nice, fishery. All right, fishery. Where does the fishery need to go? On the land, I guess. What's with all this gray stuff in the sea? I don't get it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a perfect fit, except the road's gonna have to come up a little bit, which is annoying, right? So you can't go there. So we're gonna have to have this road come up a little bit. Let's move this down a little. Let's let's have it here instead. Okay, one times fishery complete. I think we can just connect it up like that too, right? Because the main thing in this game is that when they get stuff, they have to deliver it on a truck or like some sort of like horse and wagon back up to the marketplace. All right, well that's done. Loyalty repaid. So this is our, this is our fishery pier, and this guy is doing some fishing. Nice. It's just doing a little dip. So we got the boat and we got three dudes out on the dock doing some fishing as well. Very nice. Oh, look, there's the dude there. Look. Is this guy delivering the fish? Yeah, he is. He's delivering it here, though. So wait, he delivers it here. And then this guy delivers it up to the market? Oh no. There's nothing... What the hell? Okay, the market just gets the fish. It's just getting the fish. It's good to see you, uncle! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, let's get some more farmer residences down. We have uh, 12 wood. 12 out of 75 potential woods. Plus, our farmer workforce is growing. Our content... Our, our content population, I should say, is blue. I guess that means they're not overly happy. Quaint settlement, city attractiveness, 217 out of 250. Houses don't ascend automatically, there's a button. Expansion islands require population for workers, they can't just be production buildings and everything needs to be connected to the dock happy annoying okay Heraclean thanks so much for the uh, for the tips thanks and bull thanks so much for the bits how's the game it seems okay so far I've only been playing it for like two minutes so I don't know maybe there's like some better stuff that happens later I'm sure there is we can make some schnapps some work clothes we can make a small warehouse that I don't think we need just yet and farmer residences. We could do copy, relocate, and these are like quick ones, I guess. Ship menu. Okay, I don't even have a ship yet. I guess I have to build my own ship pretty soon. I fucking really like the graphics. Jeez, look, they're they're really nice, aren't they? What's this over here? It's a ruined water mill. Okay, so can we make one of those later? That would be pretty nice. I'd like to make a ruined water mill. And uh, I guess once we get a boat, we can go explore, find other islands and resources and stuff, too. What the hell was that? What What just, like, sh what shook the whole screen like that? I know you said you're not watching anyone else while you're away, but I did. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't believe it. Can't believe the betrayal. Top, top 100 anime betrayals when... The time that you watched another streamer while I was away on my vacation. I didn't even have a chance. Didn't even have a chance to rope you back in. No? Joy676, good. I'm glad they are being spent well. Uh, I missed the context game of that save. completely. Nice. Nice of the game to just save every once in a while. It's good. Game save. New buildings have been unlocked. Can we just clear all these notifications? Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we're just waiting for this uh, thing to be uh, 
to be completed. We need four more farmers, apparently. And then we're, uh, we're ready to rock and roll. We currently have plus 70. Our labor pool is growing. Look, the island balance is plus 72. We've lost 25 to jobs. So that means that we have a whole bunch of other people just sitting around doing jack shit. We're going to have to rectify that soon. We don't want all these farmers sitting around doing nothing. New city status, village. So we can now make schnapps and um, and work clothes. And what was the other thing? Modest park. Hope enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's. Okay, we have to clear the abandoned market district now as well, which is here. Oh, it's happening already. Dull as ditch water. I get it. I got it. Three of your houses aren't built. You have the materials now to do it. Oh, do I need to actually click on them? Oh, I thought that they were built, it's but it was just a like long, hard day. The people better. need to rest and maybe when was... Okay, good. Uh, sustain seventy percent of schnapp supply for what's this for one? I don't, I don't even know what that means. Attract some more farmers, and we need to build a pub as well. Okay, so schnapps. We need some potato farms. Oh, okay. I know what's going to happen here. So we, so if I place this, say, like, down here. Let's... we got to find out what the field sizes are, right? So, potato field. Oh, they're just small little... Oh, this is good. Yes, that's great. Okay, what does this mean? You're doing great, Dad. My Potato milkshake fields. brings all the bees to my car. I spilled it all over my car. <laughs> bees are inside of my car. They could kill me. I'm allergic to bees. Less than bees. Less than bees. Nice. Hey, thanks, <laughs> Gas. Thanks, thanks for the for the. We're missing a one potato field. Wait, what? How? There's a potato field right oh, here. You in, master. Is it because I we need more potato fields? We have to max out the potato fieldage. It's going to be a long Look at all these dudes working these potato fields. It's just like Jersey. Nice. Okay, so we need to make a schnapps distillery as well. So we're going to have, like, let's have uh, some parks and stuff in between this. So how, how big is a park? It doesn't say. Let's assume that the park is, like, what? One, two, three. And then we'll have some parks and stuff here. And then we'll have, like, we'll have, like, a distillery area over here, yes. Okay, perfect. So now these guys should bring the potatoes here. And do that. And then we need a pub as well, right? Work clothes? No. Pub. Oh, we don't have enough farmers to unlock the pub yet. Okay, we're working on it though. Why do they need the park in the middle of the forest? Well, just to just because we want the people who live here to like um, not not get too mad at the fact that they've got a distillery right next to their house. We're going to put a park in between. Okay. See how that goes. We're going to try it out anyway. We'll see how it goes. All right. So this is almost a hundred percent efficient, but it's getting there. Look at this normal productivity, a hundred percent processing time is 30 seconds. Good. Here come the potatoes. We've got a, we got a, a fresh new delivery of patats. Deliver the patats quickly. Say there's nowhere to take it. Yeah, we're we're bringing you the, your patates right now. Look, they're coming down the they're, they're coming down the road. Oh yeah, baby, here we go. Getting some supply lines set up. This is nice, it's real nice, real good. Okay, farmer residence. Yeah. 
Jack and Jill went up the hill so Jack could lick her candy. Whoa. But Jack got a shock and a mouthful of cock, cause Jill's real name was Randy. Randy. Glad you're back, Dad. Bob it Andy. was a long two weeks without you. I had a, we had a, uh, we had a, uh, Bob Andy incident in, uh, in Canada as well. It was, it was quite funny. It was actually my dad was, um, <laughs> we were eating lunch and my dad just like turned up and he just stood at the table with his big fucking belly, like, just like right in my face. Uh, but luckily he was wearing a shirt and also a jacket at the time, but it really uh, reminded me of, uh, Bill Bander's big time actually it was good. No. It's basically a production line economy since not really city builder, it just looks like one. Yeah, it is kind of like production lines and stuff, isn't it? Okay, so what's the deal with this now? There's no warehouse in Oh, we need a warehouse, do we? There's a fire station here and a pub. Okay, so we have to build a small warehouse. So let's put the small warehouse by the market. Shall we? And then we can deliver our schnapps to here. And then we can have, like, the pub. Kind of, like, right across the street. What's wrong with this pub? Oh, I don't have enough wood. I need 20 bucks and 10 wood that I don't have. So I'm going to have to build a lumberjack's hut and a sawmill, I guess. Which I haven't built yet. All right. Lumberjack's hut. 97%. 90 there's a hundred percent here there's only 55 percent over here where can we oh look at over here this is real nice okay so further on from the distilleries one two three just in case we need another distillery let's just put that there like that and then look at check this out lumberjack's hut hundred percent baby okay let's put this thing here and then let's have a sawmill like here. Timber, very good. <laughs> I'll try not to think. Shut up, jeez. All right, so here we go. We're sustaining all of our schnapps supply for one o'clock in the morning. For some reason, I don't understand why, but uh, and then once we have enough um, timber, we'll build a pub. Manage my wood, woman. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Manage. You manage my wood. Oh, look at that. That looks like a proper, proper Canadian lumberjacking station, since the right? Repay me now. I went to a traditional sugar I bush while I was in Canada stomach. as well. Uh, it was nice. We had some taffy on snow. It was really, really good, actually. Haven't been to one since I was a small boy. Yeah. It looks like I've already built a lot. I haven't really built that much at all. It's surprising what you can build with very little wood in this game. No. Oh. Your dad meter really needed to be refueled. Nice. Nice. You can almost watch inside the metro today. Good. Build your community like a real mayor is watching. Uh oh. Is that a hint that there's a real mayor watching? I hope not. Okay, I have four schnapps in storage right now. Or, or do I? I need to have four... Oh no, I don't. Look, it's gone. What's it just being sold straight away? Son of a bitch. And then we just need to build the pub. What's wrong with this one here? Missing goods. Oh, he's going to get the wood now. Look, here we go, boys. Look at this. Out come the boards. Ah, that's pretty nice. I like that. It's good. I like all these little buildings and stuff. Look at these dudes are fucking picking up all the stuff on this crane, putting it up onto here, and then putting it into the storage facility. What do we have in storage? 19 fish and one timber. We need 10 timber, right? Nice. If you have an, ex an exam in one hour and 45 minutes, can you have a good luck hug? Yes, of course you can, House of Salim. Good, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with your exam. It looks amazing compared to 1404. Did I play 1404? Game save. I might have. I can't remember, actually. Control shift R for ultimate immersion. Oh, my God. Please do something about the strip in the middle. Well, we're going to try to put some trees or something up there. 
we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can do it. What's this? Oh, it's more Ubisoft Club ornaments upgrade. There's an upgrade button here, which I guess I can just use to upgrade stuff if I want to. Produce goods and deliver here. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. What does this guy want? He wants my schnapps. How do I set a limit of... How do I reserve four? It says Ready reserve to none. Repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Oh, I've done it, apparently. Okay. I gave him I his schnapps. The reek of lanolin. But if farmers... Now he wants work Is clothes. There no limit to Uncle's shame? Now he wants some work clothes. I guess we're going to have to start working on this. We need a sheep farm now. Let's have the sheep farm across the way here. And then... From here, let's build one, two, three. All right, we have a sheep farm. Framework work knitters. Do I have enough dudes for this? I should have enough dudes for this, right? So we have to have four work clothes in storage after this happens what which one was it where they had the oh I think it was no 2070 or whatever it was the futuristic one remember they had like those fucking quarry machines and like the rice rice paddy harvesters and stuff those were pretty cool upgrade button can be used to quickly build blue printed buildings all right blue printed buildings What's a blueprinted building? I guess we're going to find out after, right? Okay, I wasted all of my timber, but I'm back up to six timber. We just had a big delivery from the sawmill. So we should be up and running. We're at 100% now. How much uh, lumber do we have? Wait, that's, the, that's not lumber. How much lumber do we have? It doesn't tell us how much we have versus how much we can process, right? Just that they're both running at 100%. Just working conditions. Modify production. What the fuck? And this one is wa is waiting for wool. Those were blueprinted. You can plan your city in blueprint mode. Oh, I see. Blueprint mode. So I could put blueprint mode on and then plan it all out and then use upgrade to like build. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, cool. So I don't actually need to build a single thing. I can I can plan the whole city out in blueprint mode and then just slowly click on things to activate them. That's kind of cool, actually. We'll try that next time, okay? We'll try that next time. All right, so this is 15 second processing time. Perfect productivity. The cultivation area is 100%, and the wooden stirs four out of eight logs in storage. So now there's zero. There's no warehouse in range for the wood. So it's just getting delivered here directly. The number of new measles cases climbed again last week. Right. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, uh... The number of new U.S. measles cases climbed again last week. Anonymous, thanks so much for the donation. Uh, what are you implying? Is that because I was Your over in North America? Say, are you saying that I gave people the measles? Okay, I made the pub. Um, how do I destroy stuff after I've placed it? And can I rotate stuff as well? I should get a full refund for that, right? What's the rotate button? M? No. Game say. Does it say? Ah, okay. It's like uh, the the arrow things. All right. Let's put it like that. I want it like this instead. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so we have to clear the desolated church district and the four work clothes we're working on, right? Now we have a pub as well, so that should keep people pretty happy. Can we upgrade these yet? 10% needs unfulfilled and we're missing two residents. Upgrade cost is four planks. This is the old church district here. Nice. Does this mean that we're going to get to build another church? There's also a hand tool to move stuff at a small cost. I think you don't have to destroy it. Oh, okay, great. All right. We're learning. We're learning. We're slowly, slowly learning. Okay, we get a whole bunch of wood for knocking all that shit down. Now we have to get these four work clothes, which Speak I don't... Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in the scenes, man. Guess what, cousin? The worst has happened. While what? you went smelling flowers and helping grandmas cross the street, right. I got addicted to this shroud guy. Uh oh. He was in Twitch Rivals. His armpits don't smell half as bad as yours, and also he don't make me rip my dick. God damn. Come on now. That guy's got enough subs. He doesn't need any more. Stay here, okay? Stay here where you're needed. Don't you want to feel needed? Well, because we need you big time. We need you big time here. Thanks so much, Bear Grylls. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hope it's at the top of your CV Dowie. Again, I missed the uh, context for that one completely. Okay, so we have to find my cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edvard's Great Exhibition Construction Site. Oh, here... What? This guy's fucking town is bullshit. Look at this. Holy fuck. Where's this? Oh, come on. Come on. He's like a stone's throw away. Look at this guy's island compared to mine. What a piazza shit. Okay, let's find the, my cuz and then we'll see what's going on. He's doing a construction site here. He's doing a great exhibition. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Whatever. Okay, we have to find riding mobs in Edvard City and pick them up. Where are the rest of the rioters? We're gonna find you assholes. Pick you up. The hand of the hand of Giad. God, look at all this cool stuff. This guy's this guy's made like uh, Gay Paris on this island. I'm very jealous. I want my own gay Paris. Like it is very gay. Look at this. Look at all the b the the buildings and stuff. What's this? and industry can haul good and whatever. Where are all these other rioters? Not up at the church. Oh, here they are. So I think there's one more mob that we have to get. I guess we just wait here for them to appear. This looks kind of cool too. Look at this. Whatever they're building here. Some sort of uh, exhibition or exhibit or something. Nice. Why does this town look so much better than yours? Because he's cheating. He just spawned in a whole bunch of money and stuff and all of the resources. Or maybe he's just... Ha Eat, been eating his hot dogs. He's just had more time to play this than I have, but his city is much better than mine. We're gonna have to like make ours better, somehow compete. Is there fighting and stuff in this game? Like, do I need to make soldiers and, and do shit like that? Or probably, right? Ah, here he is. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Okay. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my port. Select the editor and his crew at Edvard's Harbor. It's my birthday today. I'm 25 and a quarter-life crisis is almost definitely imminent. Can I get a happy Everybody birthday, Pless? Here's a fiver for I you should... to eat cake and celebrate on my behalf. Poof, poof, poof. Oh, thanks, Christina M. And happy no birthday shame. to you. To happy birthday. Do -do 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 -do. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That, I think that's a Weird Al song. Wait, where are we now? Whose island is this? Sir Archibald Blake. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. Okay. Look at our sails are very pink. Wait for Edvard to contact you about the, As debt, to the debt to get your shipping license. My hands license. are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. This is our this is our boat. Nice. Game saved. Game saved. Okay. Is this ready yet? Maybe oh, you know Edward what I think I need to do? To I think I need to do this again. But for now, let's at least house those workers. Upgrade to worker residence 01. Okay, so if I go upgrade... Can any of these be upgraded? I have enough timber. So what's missing? Residents are missing. Okay. Close. We're almost there. What's this? Modest park. Huh, huh. Grass. Shrubbery. Mature shrubbery. Mature... Boys. There we fucking go. Apple trees as well. Tell me you've managed something. There's a well here. Apple trees. And some shrubberies. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ba, ba, black sheep. Have you any? All right. Good. So that's done. There, we filled in the stuff. We made our own market complete with well and grass and uh, apple trees and stuff. That's nice. We're beautifying the city. Alright, the debt is official. Hey, and Sipsy, we have to do you. an upgrade. You're a great guy. Still trying to get caught up with all Dude, your satisfactory vods. You're so fucking smart. Anyways, keep it up. Nice. Kisses. Hey, thanks so much, LC Sen. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Phoenix... J-Mac, thanks for the donation as well. Hey, Sips, I've been watching since I was a wee lad in the tech days, but never catch you live being in the U.S. Pacific Northwest. Thanks for all the laughs. Hey, you too, man. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Building from the ashes. We have to clear the abandoned smeltery. No problem. Oh, shit. We're going to be able to get some clay, some ores, some ores from, from the earth. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty. We can, we'll make one, don't worry. We have to attract 150 workers. Working class heroes. So these are workers. These are farmers. So we gotta start upgrading. Honest work, that's all we ask. So that we can With get the workers that we need. reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Okay, I'm almost out of wood here. Almost out of wood. Editorial section is sure to grow. Your city has grown more beautiful. Yeah, no, it's you're right, game. It has grown more beautiful. It's a very beautiful city all of a sudden. It's the most beautiful, maybe in the whole world. That's like something Trump would say, right? It's probably the that it's probably the best in the whole world. Uh, it's probably the greatest thing that's ever been done ever. I don't know though, cause like, look across the strait here. Boom. This guy's, look, this guy knows what's up. Look, he's got, he's fucking planned it all out, right? With the square and the fountains and he's got this fucking boulevard leading up here with the trees and shit. Like, we have to do all of that stuff too. Ours is a long way off that. We're packing it up and packing it in and let me begin big time. Oh shit. So we've upgraded all these to workers. But now we're in a bit of a shitty spot where we don't have enough farmers. It's like that, right? Pretty sure. Um, um, uh, farmer's residence. Oh, we're missing the, uh, the things. All right, so we have to make sure that we have enough farmers uh, to work at these places and also workers, content workers. Where does a content worker work?
They can cons they consume schnapps. We might need some more schnapps to keep them ha to keep them happy, right? <clears throat> so our farmer workforce, our worker workforce is good. We have no worker jobs right now, but our farmer workforce Game is not great. Safe. We're still missing 60 to fulfill all these jobs. So we're going to have to get back on this. So we're going to have to say that um what's this? We need more farm hands. Yeah, I know. We need to um how do I set this to like a top priority or can you not? Oh, there we go. Okay, hopefully that'll be like some way towards replacing our our farmers, right? Filling needs increases population. Fulfilling luxuries increases happiness and income. Okay, good. Good to know. Does this game have cheese? I'm sure it does. Cheese played a, a massive factor in the 1800s and still to this day does. Very important cheese. So I'm sure it's in there some, somehow. No? Maybe? There's probably some cheese. Somewhere. I, I would have thought that there's some cheese somewhere along the line, right? I hope so anyway. Welcome back from Kanuk Castania Sips underscore. Hey, while thanks. you were away tapping maple trees and singing the lumberjack song while freezing your plums, general workplace productivity was <laughs> up 1000% nice. and I got a fat bonus. If you could go on vacation again, pretty sure I would be CEO. Big fat flying bloke SA, thanks so much for the bits. I'm not, I'm not going away again for some time, so you're just gonna have to, um, you're just gonna have to live the pleb life until such time, okay? But it's, it's fine. As long as you're here watching and stuff, I, like, I, you're making me, like, uh, the CEO sort of thing, right? So it's, it, it swings in roundabouts, <laughs> right? Kind of? Sort of? Maybe? Thanks so much for the 20 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Hi, Dad. I missed you. Don't take so much vacations. I'll try not to. That, that was, like, my big one for the year, though. I don't think we're going to do... I mean, we might do, like, a mini vacation around Yogcon, but that's, like... That's that's not, like, soon, so I wouldn't worry about it. Well, it's kind of soon, I guess. Like, August? First week of August? Who's got tickets to go to that? There's, like, 800 tickets, so, like, probably nobody, right? Is anybody going? Is anybody going to that in, in Bristol? Bob's going. Okay, Bob. Good. Dowie did not get tickets. Nope. Nope. Wingle Wazzle didn't. Fruity Fruitcake didn't either. Also, Reen of Jupiter. Man, there's nobody going. <laughs> there's, there's not going to be a single person there. It's just going to be Lewis crying by himself on a stage. And in the audience, there'll be nobody except for just like a bunch of old appliances. And like they, you know, like the dishwasher opens its door to talk. Bye, ah, Lewis. <laughs> like that's it. That, those are the only people who are turning up to Yogcon. That's how popular we are. We're uh, we're re really, really a, quite the big deal in um, in the online world. You know, yeah. You keep mixing up Lewis and Simon. I can see that. I can see how you could be doing that. They're both very similar, so, no. You can't forget the gin. No, I haven't forgotten nothing about the gin. OMG, okay, it's happening, everyone. Stay calm. Stay fucking calm. So glad you are back, missed you, man. Hey, you too, Ghastly Cucumber. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. All right, we're almost there. We've almost restored our full workforce. We're just workforce like a couple... Yeah, just a little tiny bit to go. We just have to... Let's just get a couple of these so that we have some extra farmers. Now, we have a whole bunch of extra workers. We have 120 workers who are just sitting around doing jack shit. There's got to be something that these guys can do. Like, work at the clothes factory or perhaps they could become firefighters. Maybe they need to become firefighters. Fire station costs. Okay, we'll think about building a fire station there if we need one. So far, the game has not told me that we need one, so. All right, so these are workers, and we could just continue building out these districts, I guess. Like this. Up, up, up and away. So we're going to need to make some more farmer residences here. We're going to need a lot more planks. 
which we don't really have too many of right now. How many? Three wood. So maybe we need to put some more of these dudes to work. 62%. 72. So if I put this in here. Aha. Okay. Fire spotted. Shit. How are we going to build this? Quickly. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god, it's got to train daring firefighters as well. The whole town's going to burn down while the daring firefighters are being trained. This is... this. These aren't the same daring firefighters in real life Gay Paris where uh, where where Nostradamus uh, burnt. Did you guys see all that? What a shame, eh? But also, man, the Canadian uh, news station, I think it was CTV, were really milking the fuck out of it too. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ, Canada. I know you're like, it's a pretty boring country and not much happens, but... Do we really need, like, fucking 24-7 coverage of a fire in a church for, like... No, I'm not even joking, like, the full time I was there. It was non-stop. And it was just getting silly in the end, too. They're, like, interviewing Canadian, like... Ar architectural experts. It's like, what the fuck do you know about anything? Like, why are they fucking interviewing you? It's so dumb. Yeah. Nosferatu's, yeah. That was pretty bad, yeah. Nah, oh, seriously though, like, it just, it was like so dumb. Like, the, the stuff that they were coming out with, it was just like, yeah, okay, thanks. I, I understand how fire and, and I understand the, the reaction of wood, wood to fire and stuff as well. Like, I didn't, I didn't really need the fucking play by play by, by you either. But, whatever. I mean, I guess they have to, like, fill the air somehow, right? Local news is always the worst. Yeah, I know. It's pretty weird. It was it was a strange one. Because, like, I don't know. There's not, like, that much. You don't hear, like, on the news over there, you don't hear anything about Europe at all. Except for, like, something like that, I guess. A fire. A fire in a big church. And then you had, like, most of the church survived. Yeah, I know. And then, like, uh, and then you have those... And then you have these people who, like, you know... Oh, we were just there 15 years ago. It's like, okay, but all right, sure. I mean, it's like the most visited place in, in Paris. It's, it's more visited than the Eiffel Tower. It, like, more people go to visit that, that place than, than the Eiffel Tower in, in Paris. So, like, I'm sure everybody has some sort of recollection of, of visiting it at some point. Right? No? They should have used the water tanker planes? I know. I know they should have. You know what they should you know what they should have done actually? They should have built the whole thing out of steel beams. <laughs> That's what they should have done. Then it would have never it would have never oh, melted or been or been destroyed or whatever. That's what they should have done in the first place. It would have been the best. But the jet fuel, yeah, but that wasn't jet fuel this time. It was just an electrical fire. It had some very old it's like twelfth century electrical configuration, like it was it was bound to be. It was bound to go up at some point, I guess. No, 140 IQ. Yeah, it's a, it's a really old one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Notre Dame was an inside job. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Bush did. What was the date that the, that the Notre Dame fire happened? It wasn't. It wasn't 9/11, was it? It's like a different date. Okay, well, anyway, the fire has been extinguished in our small gay Paris, so it's fine, right? It was all a plan to get AC Unity for free. Oh, shit, yeah, you could get AC, AC Unity for free, right? That's the one where they're, they're gonna go, they're gonna play, <laughs> they're gonna do a full playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity so that they can see the perfectly modeled Notre Dame Cathedral, <laughs> and that's how they're gonna rebuild it. It's gonna cost them a billion. Uh, it's gonna cost them a billion, uh, a billion and sixty dollars because they have to buy a copy of Assassin's Creed Unity as well, full price, uh, so that they can find the blueprints <laughs> and rebuild it from scratch. Oh god.
can't wait till the pyramids burn so I can get origins. Ah, that's great. Yeah, if, if all of the big historical monuments of the world burn down, think of all the free computer games you're going to get. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be absolutely nuts. Didn't I drop a cigarette in Paris that one time? Oh, funnily enough, it, it resonated with me because, you know, that whole recherche uh, scene, if you've ever seen it before, that <laughs> was right outside. Insane. Just a mere five years ago, it was there in all of its glory. It hadn't burnt down. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Pagan simulator for Stonehenge. No, no, I didn't burn it down. Of course I didn't burn it down. It, somebody else burnt it down. I was just saying, like, we were there not long ago. And, you know, it hit me right in the feels, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. They should have interviewed me. I know. Uh, on the kid, I, I, at least I had something to do with it at some point in my life. Canadians famously don't really travel. They don't like to leave Canada. They're kind of like Americans. A lot of them don't even have passports and stuff. They just want to stay at home in their basements, nice and warm and stuff. They don't need to leave sort of thing. So most of the people that they interviewed on TV probably... They probably never even played Assassin's Creed Unity, okay? That's how little they know about Nostradamus, right? No, not a single travel. Five years ago, I could have died. It's true. Yeah, five years ago, I could have died. All right, so we need to wait for these guys we to the get to a have. point where they can upgrade. It's going to take a little while. They're going to need a lot of fish. They're going to need a lot of workers' clothes. And what else? Residents. They're going to need a whole bunch of residents as well. So I'm thinking that maybe we say peace out to the... Let's try to get some residents moved into here and claim back some of these resources. Okay, so now we're missing five, but... So, now people should be moving into these ones, right? Now that we're missing five. Five farmers. Is that how it works? Is there, like, a slow influx of farmers turning up all the damn time? I hope so. Did I know that Lewis is in this game? No, I did not know that. Sir Alcamo Blake fulfilled a trade in Ditchwater. Did he? Warnings. Notifications. Wait for Edvard to contact you about the debt to get your shipping license. So once we get our shipping license, can we do some more trading and stuff? Glad you had a good holiday over in old Canada. Yeah, it was good. I don't know why, but this game is giving me they are billions flashbacks. Right. Remember they are billions? Yeah. Waiting for all of those houses to get infected. I remember, yeah, level 69 gender man. So thanks so much. I remember it fondly, actually. It was a great game. I enjoyed playing it a lot. It was just the best. Probably the best ever. All right, so it looks like people are moving in, and we're we are getting the residents. We're missing five residents here for it to be fully upgradable. So we're gonna we're gonna ditch some more of these dudes here to try to get people to move into these other. Oh fuck! Did I accidentally knock one down here? That's annoying. That's super annoying. Holy shit! I did not mean to do that. Anyway. The cities in this game are so beautiful. I know I need to like plan mine out better, I think. <laughs> My kids are waving at me through the window. Also at Terry. They're looking at Terry too. You guys want to see Terry? Oh shit, hang on a second. Oh yeah, look, Terry's at his bowl right now. We're doing thumbs up and waving. Oh, they went on an Easter egg hunt in my backyard. Save some for me. Save some for me. Save, save some for me. Okay. Lots of, lots of, lots of thumbs up. Anyway, Terry's just at his bowl. Hide some Easter eggs for Terry. Oh, uh, yeah, we could have, we could have done that, actually. That could have been fun. Poor Terry. Poor Terry didn't. Oh, there's like a little wheel thing here. Demolish, copy, re Okay, that's pretty cool, too. All right, so how many, so we're two, seven. So we want to up, ah. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to have to rebuild some of these farm residences after, though, right? 
So I have to I have to do it this way so that I can get these upgraded in the first place. But then I have to build some farm residences after these become worker residences, right? Working class heroes. We need 30 more workers. I don't even know where these workers go. I don't know what, what they even do. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Almost perfect. This bit in the middle here. So this is going to be workers. Maybe this will become workers as well. We need like a... A farmer's district need like a district for farming people that's like not in the middle of the city we've got this river here too what's this abandoned residences I guess we're gonna have to clear those at some point too so should we wait we got enough wood and stuff it's just really people that we need some of these are almost ready to go this one is ready to go okay nice so we'll just wait for these other ones and then blammo. So every time I upgrade one, it's going to make more room for dudes to move into these other ones as well, right? Uh, you can buy people. Do I still vape? No, I don't. I quit. But I vaped a little bit while I was in Canada. I went to a couple of parties. I also puffed a bit of fluff while I was in Canada as well. It turns out... We went to a dispensary in, um, in in Westboro, which is like like a part of Ottawa, and um, it was crazy. We had to line up outside. It was so busy. It's like the fire code says that only like 52 people are allowed in the store at once. Fucking 52 people. It had been open for two weeks as well. Man, there were people buying like tons of weed in there. It was crazy. Um, and then so we had to wait outside for a bit, got in. And then we just bought some pre-rolls. They were awesome too. Holy shit, they were really good. They had all these different flavors and types and stuff. It was great. It was really fun. It's good. You're in the wrong business, I know. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta move to Canada and get into the uh, business of selling the um, the fluffs as well. It's good. Better, better than vapes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you can do that, and you can, you can get, you can get marijuana vapes as well, like just like disposable ones or whatever. So if you want to do that as well, you can. Personally, I don't really go in for that, but but whatever. You know, some people do like it. Is it better than candy cocaine? Yeah, that candy cocaine, I, I felt like I was going to die after I did it. Like, I think I sniffed it, like, way too hard. God damn. Like, it, it gave me, like, just the weirdest headache. It was crazy. It wore off after a while, which is pretty good, but... So, um, so... I met up with like all my friends uh, that I grew up with and stuff and it was really good. A bunch of people came up from like Toronto and, and Montreal for like uh, we had like a, a party over the weekend. So it was really nice. Some of these guys I hadn't seen for like quite some time. Um, so and because we're all approaching the uh, tender age of 40. <laughs> fucking crazy. Like in like a year, two years, some of us. So we're we're trying to plan like a like something that we can do for like our 40th birthday. So His we're either going to go to Oktoberfest. His uh, currency is for Dix. It. Terry is the best. He's, I he ran is. out of rhymes. Yeah, me too. Sprinkler times. Thanks, Spider Mash. Anyway, so we're gonna go to to Oktoberfest, and if we can't get to Oktoberfest, we can't get everybody to October because some people don't want to like travel that far, and it costs a lot and stuff. We might do like a camping trip. <laughs> well, I might fly back to Canada literally for a long weekend to go camping with a bunch of dudes. Which could be really fun. Uh, uh, but we're still planning it, so I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know. Yeah, uh, we might do a portage. Yeah, it may, it may happen. It's, it's likely that it'll just be a bunch of old men running around without shirts on and, uh, and, and doing mushrooms. But... There could be a portage involved as well. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it goes down. I'll take pictures if I go too. It should be fun. Oh, and kissing. Well, there might be some kissing. Yeah, there could be a little, just a tiny, just a tiny bit of kissing. We'll see though. You never know. You never know. Things can get a bit silly sometimes. Okay, these are all ready to go. So we want this one, and you reached a new milestone. 
Okay, we got Port Town. Nice. Excellent. So we have 150 workers, and we have a deficit of 20 farmers now. So we need to get those. 